welcome back to Design from Uke on Demand. And this week we're going over the song Simple Gifts. We're going to go over the first bar in this video, but you can get the rest of the song lesson and all the tabs over at ukeondemand.com. So let's get started. This first bar will sound like this. So to play that section, we're going to start out in a G chord, and we're not going to strum it just yet. We're first going to pick the second fret of the C twice, and then we strum just the top three strings of that G chord. So the open G, the second fret of the C, and the ring finger on the third fret of the A. And then we're going to leave the chord there and just lift the middle finger off and going to pick the third fret of E followed by open A. And then we're going to put the middle finger back on. We're going to strum that chord. Leaving the chord there, we'll pick the E, the A, and then we're going to pick the third fret of the A. So that will look like this. So we're still in our G, we're going to strum that once. Leaving the chord there, we're going to pick the E string, then the A, and then we're going to flatten that ring finger right there over the third fret of the A. Pick that once. And then we're going to move into a B minor. So you're probably used to B minor looking like this, which is uh, second fret, second fret, second fret, and the fourth fret of the G. And that's going to be our bass shape, but we're also going to add the pinky to the fifth fret of the A. Then we're going to pick the fifth fret of the A string by itself. Followed by the third fret of A, so just put your middle finger right on top of it. It's pretty much hovering there already. And then we are going to go into an E minor. And from here you can go into whichever variation of E minor you like. This is probably the simplest, um, which is second fret A, third fret uh, E, and fourth fret C. But since we are coming out of that barred B minor position, I find it a little simpler to just leave the ring finger and bar where it is and add the middle finger to the third fret of E and pinky to the fourth fret of C. Both are correct. Whichever one's more comfortable pulled to you is the best one to use. And moving on, we're going to pick, we're going to lift that bar up, pick the A string, followed by the third fret of the E, which your finger should still be on. And then hopping over into an A minor, so just the second fret of the G. I'm going to strum once. Come back up, pick the A string. And then strum down again. And reach that ring finger to the third fret of the E string right there. Then we're going to go into a D chord. So that's just going to be the second fret of the G string, C string, and E string. There's a couple options. You can use your middle ring and pinky, or you can use your index middle and ring, or you can even try a bar chord and then arc your finger up at the end so it doesn't hit that A string. For now, I'm just going to use the pinky ring and middle finger method. And you're going to strum that just once. And then whichever way you choose, you're going to lean those fingers back so that the finger on the E string lays down on top of that second fret of the A. And then arc them back up. Second fret E. 
And then here's the one difference between the high G arrangement and the low G arrangement. In this high G arrangement, it would just be the single pick um, on that second fret of C as it shows on the screen. And in the low G version, I just happen to be in a low G, you can also add the second fret of the G if you like. And so that's the only difference between the two. And then that last second fret on the C at the very end of the measure is what launches us into the next portion of the song. So let's put together everything we've learned so far very slowly. And that's how to play the first part of Simple Gifts on the ukulele. To get the rest of the song lesson and all the tabs, head over to ukeondemand.com. And subscribe below so you don't miss our upcoming fingerstyle tutorials. We'll see you next time.